Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today what we are going to do is uh, like basically move and talk session where I am going to move along with you and also we are going to have a wonderful chat. Um, I always wanted to do this because I feel that this is my best time and I am in my best self where I can share my thoughts and my opinions and I hope that you will like it as well and we also move and burn a lot of calories. I don't like you know sitting and talking a lot so I want to move and talk to all of you. So yeah um, let's talk and let's get started as well. I'm going to just begin with the warm up slow and steady. Um, so yes, how has life been for all of you? Diwali is done. I hope everybody had a great time. We also did our 30 days challenge. Everybody was so well, um, you know, participated in the challenge. I felt that yes, now my community is so active, they're extremely motivated and I feel so happy about it. So yes, tell me how, how was your Diwali in the comment section so that I know that yes, you had a great time and you um, enjoyed the festival to the fullest. With respect to 30 days challenge, there are so many people who followed it, but I really want that you all tell me exactly who is the one who followed it through like all days and just mention them in the comment with your email ID so that we reach out to you and we can pick out some random winners. Um, yes, that's about the 30 days challenge. Uh, do you like me to do all of these kind of series that we are doing today? Uh, like this walk and talk session. Take it straight up and go down, stretch, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. So all of your muscles are quite stiff after Diwali because you have not been worked out since so long. So it feels like really stiff and then after two days you might feel that it's actually very sore. Let's go for the alternate toe touch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yes, um, I had a great time. Uh, in Diwali. I was actually not well, but festivities are always good, you know. You always enjoy it. And I had like a lot of my con consultation calls as well. We went to Goa um, before Diwali. And if you all follow me on Instagram, you know that my brother is now uh, an Iron Man. He did an Iron Man competition there uh, for which we went. Um, and it was so, so fun. Seeing so many people passionate towards a goal actually motivates you a lot. And I never expected that that kind of um, feeling that I got there will be there. I just felt amazing. Uh, and there are so many people who were, um, you know, participating in swimming. And then there was, um, you know, uh, cycling and then running. I felt what level of courage and dedication it takes in order to, you know, um, participate only. Uh, there were so many people who were disqualified as well. I felt so bad for them because it takes a lot of hard work, you know, a lot of hard work, passion, dedication, even to stand there as a participant, I feel, I feel is a victory. And my brother finished it when he had his rough patch uh, before the competition, but it went really well. Um, so yes, we went to Goa with all my family members just to watch this competition and we also had a good time. Um, after that, life lately has been about work and work and work and that's why the frequency of my YouTube videos have also gone down because I've been so focused on, you know, um, doing lot of work when it comes to my application, my cons consultations and my clients and everything. So. The frequency of YouTube videos have gone down, which I don't want. And for me, the resolution of 2025 has to be this, that I have to upload more and more videos. Let's take a deep breath. 
I hope you're following through. Um, sometimes I'm not just naming the exercise, but I hope you are following it with me. Hold your knees and to the left. Yes. So yes, talking about the frequency of my videos has gone down because of the hectic schedule that I have right now. But I am definitely working on it. And you know, I know that you all love my vlogs also. You love um, a lot of my videos. And I've been seeing people commenting, like, why don't you upload so often? But I will. I tell you, this is my resolution. I sh promise that you are going to see more of me on YouTube now. And yeah, lately I've been working on a 75 days challenge, you know. It's a 75 days easy new kind of program that we're launching um, with GG Fit. And it's completely different. Let's go with the hamstring stretch. It's very different. You are going like, it's not difficult because I believe we all are not athletes. We are working on fitness level as a part of our lifestyle. And that's why I believe that we all should be taking really good care of ourselves every day with small actions and only then it will become sustainable. And that's why I wanted um, to come up with that kind of a program which is not hard. So it's like 75 hard is so popular, but so many people take that challenge and then they opt out. And it's not about just the 75 days, right? You have to develop a good lifestyle. And that's why I want everybody to like start uh, inculcating that uh, habits in their life. And that's why I'm up with this kind of a challenge. I hope like everybody will enjoy this. Um, I think it will launch probably today itself. We've just given a lot, <laughs> but yes. And last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. What about your Diwali? Like, did you ha indulge in a lot of sweets? Was it a normal Diwali for you? Because I believe that Diwali is a vibe, okay? So everybody has a very different uh, memories attached with it. So you eat because of that vibe, mostly. So, because gulab jamun, you will not eat it when there is no Diwali. You will eat it only because it's Diwali and you have got to eat a gulab jamun. So, how was that for you? Like, did you enjoy um, eating sweets? Did it, was it a very, like, a overwhelming Diwali for you? Or was it okay, it went, came and go? But I, I, for me, I, I believe because I was not well, so I didn't feel like eating much, but still I feel that you indulge a lot. And I, I'm, not, I'm actually not guilty. I've, I'm in the in phase of my life where I know exactly um, what kind of relationship with food you should be having. And that is the relationship that I am working on right now. I've been very much regular with the um, that kind of feeling. Exercise was not that regular because of uh, the health, basically the viral, because I cannot you know, uh, push myself or exert myself that much at that time. But I was very mindful of the portions that I eat. I have a very good relationship with food now. I don't feel guilty after having it. I don't feel deprived of not having it. So the relationship has quite improved. Let's march and talk. Are you like enjoying this kind of an exercise or the workout that we're doing like talking and chatting? I don't know if you are because I think for the longest time, the only thing that I do is listen to YouTube videos and work out. So I thought that it can be really motivating for you as well to work out like this and then still listen to someone who wants to share some piece of his or her life. I think that's really motivating. Um, yeah, so as I was talking about the relationship with food, I don't have any cheat days. I don't have any um, specific days when I like to cheat because all of my days are so balanced, right? 
I don't need a specific day, but it takes time. It's not like tomorrow you start developing that kind of a relationship with yourself. It's actually not that easy and not that possible because it takes time. I've, like, it's been 10 years in the, like I've been working on myself and I now ha have come to a point where I think my relationship with food is good enough. So I think, yes, now I can say that I don't have a hate or love-hate relationship with food, which is a great space to be in. Let's do this, five more. One, two, three, four, five. But it doesn't mean that I'm actually perfect. It's, no one is perfect. I do have come from a space of an eating disorder. I might not have discussed this with a lot many people. Sorry. One, and take it up, okay? Let's take it up, slowly down. Take it up, slowly down. Take it up, slowly down. Up, down, yes. Now, as I was talking about my relationship with food, it's actually not perfect. It's good and better now, but it's not perfect. Still, I have days when I am mindlessly eating. Mostly when you're deprived of food for a long period of time, you end up eating at night because nobody's around, you are all by yourself, you can do whatever, and that time the control is very difficult. So that is the time I believe the most um, you know, self-control comes into play, which is very hard. So I, I will say that my uh, frequency of self-control has increased, but it's not that easy. Again, I'm telling you. So if you are going through a rough patch where you have those midnight cravings, it's okay. It will pass. Just you have to work on it. You have to break the pattern. Um, I remember there was a time when I was eating at night every day. I was having so many midnight cravings. The reason being stretched to the right. I was having so many midnight cravings. The reason was because... Um, I used to feel deprived the entire day and I was flooded with food in my room. So I changed my room. I made sure that my, I break some pattern, I changed my room. And there is like um, a break in a habit that I've developed for myself that when everybody goes to sleep, I just have to binge or something or the other. So there was a habit that I had which I have to break. And I made sure that I break it. Um, and I remember that when I changed my room, the, the pattern was broken and that routine was broken and I was able to uh, conquer the habit. And yes, high, keeping yourself hydrated, eating good amount of protein, all helped. And now though I have been helping so many people and have so many clients' experiences and their journeys, um, I can tell you that you learn a lot on the go. Science about your body, about nutrition is super interesting. I read a lot. Um, right now the book that I'm reading is um, Heal Your Life by Louis He. I think she's one of the best author if you want to fell, fall in love with yourself and with your body. I think she's absolutely amazing. I, I think everybody should read these books. I, I'll put the link um, or the book picture here. But definitely, I would recommend everybody to read books about yourself, about your body. It actually makes you fall in love with yourself. It's important. When you know what's going inside your body, it actually helps. Go down. So we are going in a hand plank position. Um, we are going to hold it. Just uh, both the elbows straight and taking your body straight, hold. So you should not be like talking while you are exercising, but I want to make this kind of a video. That's why I'm doing it. And I want to talk to all of you. Let's hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Breathe out. Why? Nice. Enjoying. Are you like enjoying this vibe which um, we have today, like walk, move and talk sessions. 
I really enjoy it. Take it to the right on the left hand. One, go. Two, change. Three, change. Four, change. Five, change. Six, change. Seven, hold. Relax. Let's go in the mountain pose. Let's go for the mountain pose. Push yourself down. Elongate your back. Yes. Relax. Yes, relaxed. Five, four, three, two, one. Breathe out. So yes, as I was talking about loving yourself and knowing what you put inside your body actually is the wonderful thing you can do for yourself. Because when you know, understand what goes inside your body, um, the anatomy of it, the science behind it, you start loving the process. You know that there's trillions of cells that are inside you. They're just exactly like you. So you don't opt for choices which are really unhealthy because you feel responsible of these cells. I think I'm getting too deep into it. But yes, um, I would recommend reading. Uh, if you're just starting your journey with respect to health and fitness, and uh, you want to know about it, do I recommend reading some books. And you can also read my book, which is all about the basics of nutrition guide and a comprehensive guide about plot. Many things are there, some practical tips and tricks, the things that I've learned, so many. So you, I'll put the link of my book also in the description. But I believe that everybody should do it. OK, let's go. Another exercise. We are going. <laughs> In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. Go in cobra pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Push yourself back, come down, go up, back, up. Very good. Relax. Hold. Relax. Let's go with little abs. Let's go for the abs exercise. Yes. What else are we going through right now? Winter season. Uh, I know, like winter season, let's do the half crunch. Engage your core. This is your core part. Okay, so when you engage this, you have to make sure that all of this, these muscles are tightened enough when you are moving up in the crunch, okay? Let's go. Actually, you have to breathe in and breathe out. OK, crunch. Hold the breath. Release when you down. Go down. Hold the breath. Yeah. Again. Relax. Breathe out. Let's go into side taps. Tell me about the winter season. People who are living in North, they exactly understand what I'm trying to say. The weather keeps changing. You don't feel like having water. Um, take a, take a two-second break and then go with side taps again. 
So yes, so you, weather keeps on changing and then you don't feel like having water because, um, you know, there is no cues to drink water. So you have to keep yourself reminded of that. You have to drink water. That is the one thing that I recommend doing because otherwise your skin will become really dry. Relax. Let's go for one more time. And yes, winter is my favorite season because there are so many vegetables that come in winter season. Uh, you know, especially my gajar ka halwa, I really like it. Yes, I eat gajar ka halwa. Not that much, I know, as I told you, the relationship with food has improved. But um, I tell you that winter is having so many variety vegetables that comes in. There are strawberries that comes in. There is uh, uh, sweet potatoes, one of my favorite, favorite vegetable that comes in. What is your favorite winter vegetable? Tell me in the comment section. Like, take a break and tell me in the comment section. Uh, so yes, this is very important that you, you eat like a seasonal fruit and a vegetable because that makes a huge difference to your health. Start eating the fruit according to the, uh, the season that's there because that's what uh, gives you the maximum nutrition. And winters is about like layering a lot of clothes, not feeling like working out. Still, when you feel, do it, it feels amazing because you are all sweaty in the winter season. It feels really great. Let's do this. Let's hold 90 degree. Today your legs will be sore. I'm already pre prepping you for that. I, my legs will also be sore. It's not like people who are regularly working out. Even if they take a break after doing it for like a couple of days, they feel sore. So I will be feeling sore and uh, I will take a hot water bath with a pinch of salt. And I hope that all of you will also do the same. Relax. Take it up again. Relax. Let's do some stretches. So today we did a very basic workout, not like a very uh, uh, high in resistance, but it was a very must do workout after Diwali. I think it will stretch you up. It will make you feel so happy. But um, you got to share this uh, with your friends and family and do it together because that will may motivate you. So share this conversation that we are having today with your friends and family. And like, um, let's make it a cult of family who moves and talks together. I don't know if you are enjoying this, but I'm really enjoying talking to you. I don't feel like having done so much of workout just because we are continuously talking. Relax, push it a little bit. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There will be so many people who will be like, why are you talking and blabbering in between? Just do the exercise, man. <laughs> but I really enjoy it. You know, if you want an exercise without me talking and blabbering, three, five, six, Ten. Relax. Sit on your toes if you're comfortable with your knees and take it up. Relax. Down. Take it up. Down. Take it up. Down. Take it up. Down. Relax. Open your legs. Yes. Stretch. Then you do all of these stretches, the soreness will become very minimum because we are just stretching the muscles uh, after the workout. Very nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How often do you want me to come up with this 
um, the session that we had today. Like, did you really enjoy what we are doing? Um, I'm planning to do more like move and talk sessions, uh, cook and talk sessions. Uh, I would like you to like have a great connect with me because I have built this family over years and I feel that we are like, because of not being uploading regularly, I think I miss this, I miss this connection. I know that so many of you are already connected with me on Instagram, but YouTube is YouTube. We have a so beautiful family and I don't want this uh, relationship to end any time in my life. I just want to grow with all of you and I'm just wanting to start as fresh as possible. And yes, uh, so yes, you have to share this with your friends and family so that our community can get bigger and better and for you, for me to bring out these kind of sessions more often if you really like it. If you don't like it, I, I don't think <laughs> we can do much about it. But yes, I know that you will enjoy it. And yes, um, with so many people, I'll come a little closer to all of you. I think we are pretty much done for today's workout, but uh, let's quickly do some facial exercises. Uh, close your eyes and close your air by holding these two first fingers. Nose. Relax. Relax. Breathe out. In. Out. Out. In. Out. In, out, in, out, in, out. So yes, that's it. A huge round of applause for everybody who followed through. And I think this was much needed session after Diwali. Uh, Simple yet very effective exercise that everybody can do along with me. I hope that you enjoyed this talk session. But having said all of these things, I really want all of you to share this with your friends and family and let us build this community bigger and better. Only then I think we will be um, able to come up with these kind of sessions more often. For me to come up with this, I really need motivation and that motivation will come from all of you guys. So share it with your friends and family and um, after we are done with this kind of session in comment section, let me know that if you want more of these or not. <laughs> but I think you will because I really enjoyed it and I, when I enjoy it, I know that you all enjoy it as well. And yes, um, if you are someone who wants to be a part of my 75 days new program, which is very interesting, very um, different, a very different approach towards health. It's first ever 3D program that we are launching, which like targets on your social, emotional and physical transformation, where all of these 75 days you learn something really new, something really different and you work on your body in a very effective way. It has been designed and crafted with like experience of me having done this for 10 years with all of my clients and me. So I hope you will like it. And yes, that's it for today's uh, session. I don't know how long we have gone through. I don't know the time because I can't see it. But I know that uh, we have done a lot. I can feel it at the burn. And after Diwali, I think this is much needed. And this was um, enough to start with. But as I come and as I prog progress and come up with the more move and talk sessions, I think we'll be doing some great workouts with some great dumbbells and kettlebells and everything. So if you are someone who like it, just let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you super soon on my second episode of these kind of series. And yeah, bye-bye. Stay fit, stay happy. I really love you all. Bye.